Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the Cortec Latigo 2.0 RR one piece race suit available at Revzilla.com. So for 2015, Cortec has upgraded the old Latigo with a 2.0 version. Really what you're getting here is some upgrades and flexibility as well as comfort, more airflow. They've done away with some of the things that you've seen from the past as far as impact sliders on the shoulders, and that's gonna bump up to their Adrenaline RR line. So really what we're gonna see here with the Latigo 2.0 RR is gonna be a great entry level suit around that $600 price point. And really the big thing I wanna start off with is the sizing on this. Now Bernie to my left, he's gonna be six foot three. 215 pounds with a 42 inch chest. We have him in a medium suit and it's gonna fit him pretty much perfectly in this. I wore this suit earlier and I was extremely impressed with it because it really works for larger riders. With some of the European cut suits, I'm six foot three as well. It tends to cut me in the crotch. This has maximum amount of room and it's a little bit of a wider cut for you. So if you are a little bit meatier, it's gonna work great. Sizes are gonna range from small up to a 2XL and there's gonna be multiple colorways available. Bernie on my left hand side is going to be rocking that white version with the black and red accents. There's also a full black version and there's a black with white and red accents as well. So three different colorways to choose from. Now, Cortec is really known for being a company that wants to give riders ultimate performance, but without breaking the bank. And really with the Latigo 2.0 RR, we're gonna see a $600 price point suit with a ton of functionality built in. It's gonna be great for you riders out there that wanna get to the track, but you don't wanna make a huge investment, you're new to the sport, and you wanna get the right gear to protect you, again, at a price point that's gonna allow you to buy other gear too. There's plenty of other gear in Cortex lineup. There's matching Latigo boots and gloves, so you can really outfit yourself with quality gear, again, at an affordable price point. Now, if you do wanna bump up, consider the Adrenaline RR. With the Adrenaline, Cortex gonna give you increased armor protection with TPU sliders at the elbows as well as the shoulders, and you're also gonna get aluminum overlays on top of that, and they're also gonna maximize the elastication for maximum comfort if you bump up to the Adrenaline. But again, with the Latigo, really what we're looking at here, that $600 price point, really getting you onto the track with a huge bang for your buck factor. So let's start by breaking this down. Cortec has used a 1.2 to 1.4 mil grade top grade cowhide with this, and you're gonna see it working its way through the entire body. The other thing they've done is maximize perforation on this suit. So if you're an East Coast rider like myself, you're not gonna have to worry about those summer months really kind of sweltering you. You're gonna see a ton of perforation working its way through the body. You're also gonna have localized perforation running down the sides in the impact zones. So starting at the top, you're gonna to see a rolled neoprene collar. Really helps to wick sweat away, comfort for all day rides. An upgrade, a slight upgrade that you've seen, again, over the previous version, they've upgraded the Velcro in this. Again, just a redesigned tab up top. You are gonna have a YKK zip for the main body. And really, as you look at the front of this, the main change you're gonna see is they've done away with the leather stitching for the Cortec logo, and they've gone with a silkscreen logo instead. Saves a little bit of weight, just again, when you're out there on the track, every little bit counts. Now this is where you're gonna see that first type of perforation. Again, two types of perforation used from Cortec in the Latigo suit. Now, this is gonna be micro perforation, mass amounts of perforation in the non-impact zones, at your chest, working your way down through your belly, your inner thighs, all the way down to your calves on this, to just to give you a mass amount of airflow working its way throughout the entire body. Now the second type of perforation you're gonna see is localized perforation. You're gonna see it along the sides, those impact zones where you don't want the perforation to go all the way to the stitching line, but you still want a little bit of airflow. The other thing you're gonna notice in the impact zones, working away from your shoulders down to your elbows, again, the butt, the sides of this, they're gonna use a safety stitching to make sure that you have nice clean lines, but again, you're not gonna to have to worry about tears or snags in an impact. CE rated armor at the elbows and the shoulders. You're gonna see nice pre-curve to this, super aggressive for when you are in that full tuck position, and you are gonna have locking zippers at the cuff. Not YKK zips at the cuff, but they are a nice locking zipper to make sure this isn't gonna open up on you in the event of a crash, and you're gonna have nice microfiber along the cuff as well, just adding for comfort. One of the things I like about this is that they did a nice, on some of their suits that I've had, they go a little bit too long in the sleeves, Cortec did a nice job of just giving me a nice cuff with this. It allows me to use a full gauntlet glove over top of it without bunching up. 
Bernie, I'm going to have you turn, throw your hands up in the rider position for me. And starting with the shoulders, kind of working our way through this, one of the things you're going to notice is elastication at the back of the shoulders, at the back of the elbows, really adding for flexibility. You're going to see that micro perforation working its way through the back of the arms. Again, that non-impact zones, breathing a ton of airflow through where you need it the most. As you work your way down, you're going to see that localized perforation I was talking about earlier, really in the impact zones where you still want the airflow, but you don't want to have to have the perforation running all the way to the side. Really nice upgrades there. Elastication working its way along the hips. There is going to be foam padding inside the hips as well. And as you work your way down through the knees, one of the things you're going to notice is the knee sliders on there. They've redesigned the overall Velcro for the knee sliders so you can reposition them differently where you want them to sit. You're also going to have CE rated armor underneath those knee sliders as well. Bernie, I'm going to have you go ahead and face backwards for me. And starting over the top, we're going to work our way through the back on this. Again, that neoprene rolled collar really adding comfort. You're going to see that MotoGP style speed hump on this. You're going to have micro perforation along the top. Again, pushing a mass amount of airflow down through the hump into your back. Again, just pushing the air through. As you work your way down, you're going to see the safety stitching working again along all the impact zones on this. You're going to have that micro or that localized perforation rather along the lower part of the back, working its way into that accordion stretch. Really nice silkscreen Cortec logo. Again, in that accordion stretch area, you're in that full tuck, maximum flexibility. And as you get to the seat on this, the one thing I want to point out is that for your tailbone protection, they've done a double layer of leather with a really dense foam padding here for tailbone protection. This isn't something that we're going to see from any other suit in this price point, and it's a huge upgrade in protection from Cortec. Now, as you work your way down through the seat into the lower legs on this, the one thing I want to point out is the calf extenders on this. I'm a bigger guy, I have more of an American cut, and the calf extenders on this, if you have those meaty thighs, again, Bernie's got a little bit more going on in the thighs, working his way down in the calves, you do have the extenders that allows you just to give you a little bit more room, more comfort when you're out there on the track. So when you're zipping up those boots over top of it, you can fine tune it exactly as you want it to fit. Bernie, I'm gonna have you turn around and face forward for me. Now, one of the other things to note is you're working your way down here, just as we're kind of wrapping out the legs on this, elastication above the knees, really adding for that flexibility. Again, you can see the sliders with that new Velcro pattern. And the one thing I want to point out with this particular suit is that you are going to have a non-removable liner inside, so you can't take it out, you can't wash it, but it is sweat wicking. And with that, there is going to be a pocket in the back for the back protector. So if you want to put the back protector in here from Cortec, you can do so, but just keep in mind, if you're taking this to the track, most organizations are going to require you to have a standalone back protector. Cortec does have an upgraded CE level two back protector standalone for this year, and it's going to work perfectly with this suit. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are going to the track, they're rocking Cortec gear, and if you want to hear what they have to say, click the info button. Read what other riders are digging about the Cortec gear they're taking to the track. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone. Give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Cortec Latigo 2.0 RR race suit, one piece. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.